Red Flag began originally in 1975. That's when they started it. It was an implementation after the Vietnam War where they determined that pilots were more survivable if they had survived their first 10 sorties. So Red Flag is mostly designed to give those pilots uh, their first 10 sorties. This is PACAF's premier exercise that is executed within the Joint Pacific Alaska Range Complex, uh, which is an absolutely huge chunk of airspace, uh, about 77,000 square miles, where multiple participants from all around the world will come to execute specific scenarios that are designed to train uh, a combat-like environment. So specifically to this flag, we have units from Oklahoma, from Texas, Washington. We have our NATO partners, the Royal New Zealand Air Force and the Royal Air Force. Uh, there are multiple challenges whenever you take your entire squadron and essentially deploy them here to Alaska. Specifically during this flag, 23-1 is in October. So all of the maintenance and support personnel are having to deal with the elements within Alaska. So there's cold weather events, rain, snow, ice, clearing the aircraft. Most of the crews will have to handle uh, various scenarios that the scenario designer has implemented for them. Uh, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure having the NATO AWACS here specifically um, to participate in this exercise. They've been able to uh, execute most of the vulnerability periods in which they're able to provide command and control for the fighters and the mobility aircraft that are operating. So working with our uh, allied and coalition partners is incredibly important because we're able to both highlight our capabilities and any of our limitations. So once we learn how to, to work together towards a common goal, then we learn how to plan and execute together seamlessly.